Three times between 2014 and 2019, the Social Services Department received legal advice robo-debt was unlawful. Paul Menzies McVeigh became the Chief Counsel of DSS in early 2019. He was briefed on the advice but didn't act. The debts raised for the past three and a half years under the various iterations of the scheme had no legal basis. That would have been the consequence, yes. He told the Commission that while there was concern internally about the scheme's lawfulness, he was waiting for further advice from the Australian Solicitor General. The Commonwealth program continued until late 2019. By then, it had issued more than 500,000 false welfare debts. The continuation of the scheme had very significant consequences for potential recipients. Uh, I'm not sure that my mind turned to that, but... Um... The Commission heard by mid-2019 the Solicitor-General still hadn't been briefed, delayed by the federal election. Mr Menzies McVeigh thought that during this period everything that could be done to resolve uncertainty had been done. He told the hearing he never shared the advice with the department responsible for the scheme. The commissioner was clearly frustrated by the former top lawyer's inaction. This is a bit of a concern because it is saying that a program which the government's been operating for a couple of years now actually is illegal. Did you ask what on earth had been happening with it? Um, I, I didn't ask. Later, a Centrelink compliance worker gave emotional testimony about the impact on staff who had to administer the scheme. I became a conduit for what we now know is an unlawful policy. Kira Jones, ABC News.